get cooking, cooking, cooking with Amy. Hey guys, I have a fun brand new dip recipe I think you're going to love. So if you need to whip up a last minute dip for the big game, people are coming over, or maybe movie night, this one is perfect, especially when the weather starts to get a little chilly. And it's got cheese and beer in it, so you got to love that. I started out in a big nonstick uh, pan melting basically one block of cream cheese. So you carefully want to melt that. Now to that, I'm going to add about a half of a bottle or can, whatever you have on hand, of beer. And this is going to be a warm dip. So if you have like a fondue pot, this is perfect for that. So I'm whisking together my beer and that cream cheese just until it's nice and smooth. And now I want to give this some great flavor. I've got one packet of dry ranch dressing. This is going to really give this dip some great flavor. I love a good beer dip, and I took the love I have for the, the cold beer dip. Sometimes a cold dip just doesn't cut it when the weather starts to get a little cooler, and I thought, how can I make that the great flavors of that cold beer dip into something nice and warm? So it's really, really easy. Okay, so at this point, you just do a little more beer because I can tell this is getting a little thick on me. So about a half of a bottle, half of a can of beer. I'm going to start adding cheddar cheese. Two to three cups of shredded cheddar cheese. And I, I like to add that about a handful at a time just so it doesn't separate. Do one. And we're almost done. So what you can do is just make this ahead of time and put this in one of those small slow cookers or a fondue pot, and then everybody can just kind of help themselves. This one is a winner. We'll do one more handful of cheese. And if it gets a little thick on you, you can add a little more beer. And there you go. I love to serve this with some warm breadsticks or warm pretzels. You know, the soft pretzels, it's fantastic with those. So I've got some warm breadsticks that we've just toasted up in the oven, or even just a French baguette that you warm up and put into slices. Feel free to double or triple this recipe if you want. It's that good, and people are going to go crazy over it. But definitely want to keep it nice and warm. So a fondue pot or one of those mini slow cookers work great. And there you go. My beer cheese get dip. Everyone will love this one. Perfect for the big game, movie night, or just if you're having company over. You can get the recipe, by the way, on the website. You can also pick it up at any area festival foods. Enjoy.